You may be wondering if you should move your 401k funds to an IRA once you retire. That is a question that I'm asked quite a bit when people come in to do retirement planning. And so I want to talk through some of the things that you should be thinking about, whether to keep your money in the 401k or move the money to an IRA. Now the 401k has the advantage of falling under ERISA law. So it is creditor protection under ERISA and that is across the nation. An IRA falls under state law. So you would have to look into the laws of your state to know what creditor protection do you have for IRAs in the state in which you live. For some states it's, it's similar, for other states it's uh, much more limited. Other reasons would be if you wanna borrow against your 401k, uh, if you are over the age of 55 and have retired, but you're not yet 59 and a half, you can get distributions from a 401k with no 10% tax penalty in that uh, period of time. And then if you're still working and you're at the age of taking required minimum distributions, but you're working for the employer that has that plan and you're not a 5% owner of that company, then you can postpone taking required minimum distributions. So those are some reasons that you might want to keep your money in your 401k. Some reasons that you might want to roll it over to an IRA are for some additional retirement planning. What do I mean by that? Well, first off, a lot of 401ks or 403b plans are more restrictive in the frequency of the distributions that you can take from that plan. With a IRA, you can set up to have bi-monthly payments coming out to you, so it can really replace your retirement paycheck. You can structure those payments to come out to you in the way and the timing that you want them to happen. You can also structure them to come from certain investments. So once you're retired, you may want to use a bucket planning portfolio so that you have some conservative assets saved for you know, set aside for those early distributions and you have more aggressive uh, uh, assets and investments for the longer term. With that IRA, you can specify that those early distributions would be coming from those conservative assets that are set up to provide that. Whereas with a 401k, you're often gonna be limited to taking those out on a pro rata basis, no matter what is happening with any of those investments. Another reason that you might want to roll your funds over to an IRA would be to consolidate everything. If you have money in both a 401k and an IRA, then you would have to take a required minimum distribution from each one of them. Those are separate required minimum distributions because they're under separate plan rules. So even though the amount is the same, you still have to take it from each one. With the rollover to an IRA, no matter how many different IRA accounts you may have, you can consolidate the required minimum distributions and take that from just one of those accounts. And it will satisfy the required minimum distribution for all of the accounts. You only have to take out enough that is more than the total that you would have to take out from each individual account. And then a couple of other uh, biggies would be being able to do qualified charitable distributions once you are 70 and a half or older, you can do that from an IRA. So that can be very beneficial to your tax planning if you're somebody that does give to charities. And last but not least, if you have company stock in your 401k plan, if you roll over to an IRA, you have the ability to do that with pre preferential tax treatment and that can give you a big leg up in saving some taxes on the money that has been saved for retirement, depending on your particular situation. How much of that do you have in your 401k? What is your cost basis? All of the different uh, things that would have to be considered, but it is possible that you could benefit uh, from a tax perspective by doing that rollover and utilizing net unrealized appreciation in the process. And you can only do that if you roll over the entire 401k. So that in a nutshell are some things to think about, reasons that you might wanna keep your money in a 401k 
or you might want to roll it over to an IRA. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we are here to help you be on your best path for retirement.